Child Find Manitoba was tasked with developing a campaign to educate the public about child sexual abuse through prostitution. After months of work, the staff of Child Find Manitoba are getting ready for the campaign launch at noon tomorrow in over 40 locations across Manitoba. We are working on getting out all the packages to all the different organizations who we have coming out um, on launch day. So they're all getting t-shirts and posters and postcards. Having these, these partners across the province distribute this, the word on the campaign in such a broad and dynamic way, we are hoping to get people to really be touched by the campaign, stop, pay attention, and hopefully see this um, you know, on the 6 o'clock news that evening, and we'll take even more notice going forward. The morning of the launch, Jackie Anderson is getting three groups of mom away men ready for the three locations where they'll be spreading awareness of this important issue. Spreading the message is important and you know, so by doing this campaign it's given an opportunity to everybody to be able to go out there and create the awareness. It doesn't take a small group to really fix and work on this area, it takes an entire community. All across the province, community groups and volunteers are taking it to the streets to deliver the message that sex with kids is child abuse and it's never okay. Meanwhile, at River and Osborne in Winnipeg, Minister of Family Services and Housing, Gord McIntosh, is addressing the crowd. We have to see the invisible. We have to stop sex with kids. We have to send a strong message that these curb-crawling uh, creeps that come into our neighbourhoods and destroy the well-being of our children must be denounced. Minister McIntosh believes that Manitoba has made progress, but there's still more to do. Uh, it's not enough that we continue to put in place the countermeasures without bringing the public along with us. The public has to be aware of the, the, the lifelong impact of exploitation on victims. I think we've got to make sure that the public denounces these predators that come into our neighbourhoods and destroy not only the lives of young Manitobans, but undo neighbourhoods. This public awareness campaign is about informing the public, challenging their thinking, and encouraging action. And that means action for individuals, but it means action for businesses and community groups and organizations as well. And we hope to see a year from now people engaged and going to the website and getting more information. And we will update that website on a regular basis. And we expect that that can have a huge impact because organizations can go and can model for each other the good work that they're doing and model for new organizations things that they can be doing, we can mobilize real significant change. I'm very encouraged by that uh, and I believe that you know some of the people that are victims now, you know the, the children, uh, you know I, I think it's I think it'll be encouraging for them to see that there are people that are standing up and taking notice and want to do something about it. That's very encouraging. And the media took notice. Child Find Manitoba hopes a blunt new public awareness campaign will shatter some of the misconceptions about child prostitution. On November 13, 2008, Manitobans came together to say that we will not tolerate the abuse of our children. This is only the beginning.